This video will demonstrate an experimental setup for using a Google Voice mixer to control and route audio from and to Google Voice using Jack Audio Connection Bay Carla in Ubuntu. I'm using 1204. This is the basic setup, which is not so basic actually. Uh, this video will assume you already have some knowledge of KX Studios applications for Jack Audio and I'll explain a little bit along the way uh, but you'll need to do some research if you want to understand this video and this is your first introduction to Jack Audio or to the KX Studios uh, applications for Jack Audio. Basically what we're trying to do here is control audio to and from Google Voice. I'm using a separate sound card for Google Voice so that I can separate the desktop audio or media audio from what I'm receiving from Google Voice. I'm using a USB microphone. I'm going to apply a noise filter, an EQ, compressor, and limiter, and send that to an AGC circuit. And then using KX Studio's Jack to Alsa plugin, we're going to send that to the Google Voice and then out to any person I'm talking to. From Google Voice, I'm using the Alsa loopback. and I'm using these two right here one for a US uh, mic and uh, I'm actually using Alsa in for the second loopback I have, I have two loopbacks that are in modules so I've sound a loop enable equals one comma one so I'm using the second loopback cable just for the Google Voice output. And let me show you the setups for that. This is the setup for Google Voice that you need for the default microphone. That's the one that seems to work for the loopback so that you can hear audio from Google Voice on the second loopback. It doesn't give you the numbers, but the first one is the first loopback and the second I guess this would be card zero and this is card one as far as ALSA goes and the loopback cables. But the direct sample mixing device I'm using one comma one for Google Voice and to receive it using the ALSA in I'm using one zero one comma zero and that's the basic command I'm using for that. For the USB microphone I'm using Zeta a2J and both of those are working pretty well. Okay, so and that one, one more I think I wanted to show you. So that's the basic setup here. When you go to your settings for chat in the Google Voice settings. And that should get you started as far as how to hook this stuff up correctly. All these are free Windows VST plugins. Carla will run them directly now with its beta version. That's the one I'm using. So if you use the Carla-Git, you can get this in Ubuntu. And I ran this on Windows. I wanted to see if it could be run on Ubuntu as well. There may be some native Linux plugins that will do the same job, but I already knew how to do this in Windows, so I wanted to see how Carla handled everything, and it's doing exactly the same job as I was able to do in Windows using Jack Router. So I'm going to uh, demonstrate my voice first, why we want a noise filter for the voice. So for my USB mic, I'm running through the first plug, and it's a re plug called Reefer, Reefer Standalone. And it's this one right here. I'm going to take the GUI here and take a look at it. I'm running in it at 2048 and I'm running it in subtract mode and you just quiet down and then hit this. And once you uncheck it then that takes the the hiss and some of the background noise out which is really nice. Again you're trying to conduct a conversation and if you can remove noise that helps the other person understand you and vice versa. 
let me show you what this sounds like without that. I'm going to take this down. And you may be able to hear some hiss and some background noise. So I'll turn this back up. Okay. Now for the strip tool, my mic is going to the noise filter, then to the uh, VB Audio's strip tool, which is basically an EQ, a compressor, and a limiter. And I think it really adds a lot of power to uh, your vocal audio, trying to get it through to the other person through uh, a limited bandwidth. When, when you're using the phone, it's uh, pretty limited. So this is able to help. And as you see, we've got the meters running. I'm going to turn the EQ off. I have some trouble some at this level, right around 3 kilohertz. And turn the low up a little bit. And if I take the EQ out, this is what my voice sounds like without it. If I take everything out of the VB, and you get some volume issues, so the compressor and limiter aren't engaged. And that's what it sounds like, again, with it. And I think it adds quite a bit. So I really, I really like what VB Audio has done with this, and it makes everything conveniently located right here. So that's what my voice is doing, and I'm sending that over to the screen recorder. But I'm also going to Loudmax plugin, which is keeping all audio at a certain level, so the Google Voice AG cir AGC circuit doesn't have to work. Let me show you that Loudmax. And as you see, my voice is up around here. Some of the other audio will be running about in this area. So if I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with desk desktop audio as well, or media player audio, if you want to share that with a friend or whoever you're talking to. Uh, perhaps you're discussing uh, a media file or a program and you wanted to go over it with somebody. This will allow not only you to hear it, but the other person to hear it clearly. But when you talk, your voice will be above the audio so that you can make a comment or they can break in and you can hear what they're saying over this audio. And I'll demonstrate that in just a second here. But this keeps it down. To, I found in Google Voice that the AGC starts activating about minus 22 or so. So I didn't see any point uh, in raising this up above that. So this keeps the audio the same so the Google Voice won't pop in and out. Now, it's not fully duplex, so when you talk if I and you'll hear this in the video when I talk what we're hearing from Google Voice will go down a little bit and that's just the way they do things so you really can't prevent that so but when usually when a phone conversation you may interrupt but you'll still be able to hear them but two people won't be talking at the same time so let's take a look back at the patch bay here from Google Voice again we're using the Alsa loopback sound card the second one and it's going to the same noise filter and let's take a listen to that you should be able to hear the difference here so there's the second one here and just the background is being suppressed already and let's take that off and show you what happens And you can hear that hiss. And some phones will be hissier than others, but it's nice to get rid of that. Okay, now I'm going to pause the video and we're going to show you how this helps to understand what the other person is saying. Or if every voice is a little bit different, but you can really make it a little more clear and a little more pleasant as far as the audio file characteristics, if you can call it that. And I'll be right back here. And that was an adventure because okay, we have it turned on now. I just have a the phone resting on a speaker on a radio station, and let's use the strip tool here and adjust the EQ. at Kennedy Airport. Now the next thing was to get from the airport terminal to the hotel. 
And the I'll turn the EQ off you first. When you get down on the ground, just go inside the terminal building, and they have these courtesy phones on the wall. Just a little muffled. Thing, and they'll send a limousine to come and pick A little more trouble, a little more bass. So that's what we did. I went over to the courtesy Seems a little bit clear to me. I'll call. turn it all off. And they said, yes, we have your reservations, Mr. Spol so now it's a little hard to hear for the volume. And so Vest and I went to the front of the terminal, took our suitcases there, and okay. sat down on our suitcases. And I'll turn that off and we'll come back. There. Okay, we turned the speaker off in the other room. The radio station was playing. And I wanted to show you one other thing. Uh, I've had a lot of fun talking to my dad and playing some ba some audio or some files, you know, where we can... T Shoot the breeze and talk about you know things that are happening. And uh, one of my favorite things is to throw out some some sling blade, sling blade stuff. And I'll pop that in there once in a while. And if we wanted to go over a, a lecture or something. The law on their hearts. It's almost like there's no need for a priest or a temple anymore. What is that new covenant discussion about? How do we understand that? Oh, oh. If Jesus, then that makes sense. If Jesus, then that makes sense. If Jesus, then that makes sense. So then we can go back and forth again. When I, as the video or the lecture is going on, if I talk or my dad would talk, I can still hear. We can still hear each other over the media file. And we have another one here. If you had it already recorded, you want to play something. Looking for him uh, intensely this week and next week, and so you'll probably see me from here next week. And you just plug that in. Again, I'm drawing the wires. From here, you set the volume low so that you can hear it just enough, where you can hear it fine. But if the other person talks, you'll hear it. You'll hear it over what Aqualung was playing. So I'm drawing wires to again this AGC Loudmax. And let me see if I've covered everything. Yeah, showed you that already. The VST plugins. So as far as a two-way conversation goes, this has really been a lot of fun being able to play video or sound bites using a soundboard using an audio file if you had something you wanted to share and talk about it I can hear him better through the noise filter and the EQ and he can he hear me a lot better and also he can hear the audio clearly too so this is a lot of fun it's a little bit of an experimental setup since this is still in beta uh, but so far I've had several conversations and it just has been a lot of fun setting stuff up this way. You can also save as and you may have to redraw the connections uh, in Carla, but if you used Claudia, you might be able to save the connections too. Uh, so you could use JMS, you could use non-session manager, one of those so that you wouldn't have to redraw all these connections. So it, it takes a little bit to get it all set up, but it, it if you're going to be on Google Voice and, and you're going to be doing conversations on a regular basis, this seems to have been a, an amazing way to make the whole experience a lot better. Thanks for watching.